All right, so this is a quick video to show an error or something that you need to consider when making a move from Revit 2019 to Revit 2020 with Dynamo. Uh, so this is just a sample model, uh, kind of the one that we're all used to, and a simple graph that gets walls by category and gets their heights. So if we hit run, we'll see that it's pretty simple. Uh, this is Dynamo 2.0.3 with Revit 2019, of course. Let's go ahead and save this. We're going to go ahead and open up Revit 2020 now. And we will, we're on the same sample model. We'll go ahead and open that same sample file. So really quickly, we realize this category changed and this element type changed as well. That's a problem if I have this graph depending on those to run. So if you have Dynamo Player, for instance, and you have is input disabled on these, uh, someone would hit play and then the graph just won't run and you won't know what's going on. Uh, that's not great. Uh, if we go ahead and look at this graph in a text editor and we search for index, we'll see that the drop downs are going by a selected index. So in the case of Revit 19 to Revit 20, uh, we start to run into issues where the category counts are different or the element type counts are different just because there's changes in the API. Uh, these are the same sample model once just upgraded. So that's something that's kind of crummy because we can't use this. Um, so let's look at how to fix it. So in Revit 19 and Dynamo 203, we can fix the out of the box categories node with another out of the box node. We'll search for category by name. From there, we can connect that, take out the drop down, and just type in walls, case sensitive, of course, and tie that in. And we'll run it. So now we're able to still function how we were, and this would stay intact because it's a hard coded name now rather than an index that can change. For the element types, there is no real element type by name in the out-of-the-box nodes. But luckily, with Dynamo, the community being so awesome, uh, Clockwork does have that. So if we go to Clockwork Revit Selection, I believe he has element type by name. So Revit Selection Miscellaneous by name. I think he has some like notes in here that says what it does. So what we're going to do is we'll double click for another code block and type text element just as it appears in the drop down and tie that in as well. And we'll remove the drop down. So when we hit run, we'll see that I retrieved a text element. So if I wanted to use this downstream, I totally could. So now we'll hit save. We'll open Revit 2020 plus Dynamo 2.1 once again, and we'll refresh this graph. Now we can see that that did carry through. If I hit run, I obtain a text element element type and the correct walls category. So there it is. You'll have to change this in any of the graphs that you are upgrading for 19 um, to 20. It will remain compatible in both versions though, which is really nice. So one really great thing is since we do have this first version being the same, these graphs will work together it's just a Revit API consideration at this time. So there it is. Get As you get 2020 rolling, uh, get your graphs updated. Or if you're running into issues, I hope that helps out.